welcome back to Laser Penguin Games. Today we're going to be taking a look at this an elemental druid, specifically frost cold. Nice. All right, and then we're going to take a look at the skills first. So, I'll bring up the stats page as well so you can see that. Uh, we're going to start with the reward here. Obviously, uh, life shield, we're going to max that one out to get as much life as we can. Max out symbiosis it's going to be a very important <clears throat> buff ability for this build uh, and then for our bonus at the bottom we're going to go with force of nature which is going to give us a whole bunch of extra um, basically strength factor to spell damage because we're going to be casting spells so obviously we don't have anything to do with the tree war and the trap right of the werewolf we're going to go straight to the second page here and we're gonna go put one point basically in these 10 skills here but then um, I'm gonna start with, a, with maxing the spells so I'm using Haunting Banshee so I maxed that one out and then I have one in Pagan Rites I maxed out Reign of Fire as like a secondary spell and I only have one in Freezing Gale because it does a lot of damage but you have to stand still when you're casting it and channel it which causes some pretty big problems <laughs> I guess at a higher level um, we got Poison Flash here which is another spell um, I guess you could pick up this instead of the fire as your secondary um, again this is elemental so you can basically mix, mix and match between uh, the three, but I'm going to be focusing on the frost here. Um, I maxed out Mythal. And I have one in Plague Avatar, one in Acid Fiends. And then basically I put the remaining points I had left over into Elven Song. So basically, Mythal we're going to actually be using, but the Elven Song extra points are basically going to just give us uh, damage avoidance through symbiosis here so you can see the synergies again that methyl is going to give us more spell damage and the elven song is going to give us a chance to avoid damage completely which is good because we don't have uh, fairy fire anymore so that is all the skills uh, for the stats uh, basically I just put up strength in to wear the gear even though I have it, it basically pumped it up more which is fine because our ability um, turns our extra strength into more um, spell damage or energy factors spell damage and then I really didn't put much in dexterity or vitality at all most of our life points are coming from our skills so pretty much gonna dump most of what we have in energy um, that's pretty much what I did for stats. I'll say max out my resistances. Uh, we're going to start with this weapon, which is very nice, <laughs> I would say. Uh, there, you have a few options, so you can go crafted um, for this whole build. Um, you can just craft craft all your stuff, but this is just one gal rune. Um, and it's a, you're able to make basically this pretty sick staff that does damage to all elements. Um, and then I added a bunch of um, cast speed jewels as well. It's going to get 10 of the druid skills and up to 200 energy factor to spell damage. And then also it's going to give um, up, up to 15% physical resist, which is going to help. And then a bunch of character defense. So it's overall a pretty nice staff. Uh, you can see that I added some extra cold damage to it. And then if I was higher level, I'd probably just add more cast speed. Um, so this is crafted. You can see here I got a five, five skill druid helmet. Um, I ended up crafting um, with basically uh, sacred shrines for the most part, and then if you can't really roll anything nice, you can still use eerie and then um, shrine bless it with sacred after or whatever element you're using or if you really you know because you're still gonna want to get some like basically more negative resist to a certain element 
of whatever your main element is. So that's five skills. The armor, I just want the two skill. I'll see there's, if you're using different elements, um, you, there's different armors available. Um, but I'll see this is just a crafted one with two skills and a bunch of more cold damage and stats. Um, for amulet, again, you can just use any, like, you probably just use any four. Four all skills amulet with some extra damage in whatever element you're using. Uh, I went with black dwarf. I failed the upgrade on the extra skill, so you can get a plus. This can go up to plus three skills, which is nice, and it's going to give me a lot of more bonus cold damage and negative resists. There's a supernova on it, which I don't use, and then I added some mana regeneration for the rings. Again, just plus the skills and whatever damage in your element and also mine's cold so I added a lot of cold damage and mana regeneration and a bit of physical damage reduction on top of that uh, I'm sure there's better boots and and gloves because these don't really provide any skills but uh, I just made some basic ones uh, with bonus cold damage uh, and stats and then for the belt I went with Shira's armor, which is giving me a bit more physical resist and a bunch more spell damage as well. And then I put another cast speed jewel in there as well. And that's pretty much all the gear I'm using. Of course, there are tons of options, and you can just craft everything, which is just nice about this build. There's also this secrets. I I do have. I didn't really tr uh, try it out, but this is seems like it'd be pretty decent sacred unique to use as well if you have one but it seems like the stats are just slightly worse than Oxian and therefore I was like might as well it's not even too you can because you can keep re-rolling it right if you unsocket it and re-socket the gal rune and all the jewels again you can try and so mine was because it's 8 to 10 skills you can get and 150 to 200 energy factor and 10 to 15 physical so this one has really really good stats on it and then I added the extra 10% spell damage with um, there's like a any potion you can find and it's purple and it's like 40% chance and 10 spell damage instead of using a um, the store bought upgrade potion here which only is going to give you um, enhanced damage and attack rating so you don't want to use oil of luck on your spell um, spell damage like caster weapons uh, alright so let's go grab so I'm also going to go ahead and buff here I want to buff in Mark of the Wild and Symbiosis. If you really want to, you can summon the Acid Fiends. They give you like basically a bigger damage buff as well, but they die so fast that I didn't really bother with them. And also we have Pagan Rites here as well that we can use to heal. So I know a lot of you <laughs> like that move, but I got the Rain of Fire on my left, and then I got on the right here, I'm going to cycle through Mythal and my actual cold spell, which is Hunting Banshee. As a deploy drift zone. And then also I can cycle to the Pagan Rites as well. And just heal up. So the Basically the idea is to left click spam until the rain of fire starts and then you can spam your actual cold attack which is going to basically heat seek and explode. But I'll do a little bit of cows, I don't need to foil, maybe we will. It's not E3 or else they would have probably told me. We don't need you. Be gone. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and crack that open. So we can see a rebuff. Let's 
I'm gonna drop the missile. Now I'm gonna try and crush some of these cows. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna heal up with some pagan rights there. The range on the uh, hunting man is not super far, but it does enough. Can you, heal again there? There, I'm, uh, you can also drop the metal and kind of go run into it. If you miss, and you drag the enemies over to it. And they'll get that extra 100% minus resistance. King. Okay. No. No. Everyone's so happy when I use the bigger right I refuse to use it on my bow drew. I'm like, you don't need it. <laughs> but it's part of the, <laughs> the skill tree I'm using, so. Now I shall use it. Everyone will be very excited. Drop that metal on this guy. That's it. Let's go to the city. It's hard to kill us, whatever that means. <laughs> we just don't die. <laughs> We're trying not to die. We're just trying to drop a fire and make it rain. That's pretty much it for this build. If you have any questions. Leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, who made it to the end of the video. This is Laser Pen Games, reminding you to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps out. And if you're looking for even more content, check out my Patreon here, where I post exclusive video content every month and you'll have access to all of that.